Uh, hey folks, I don't know when we'll be able to have a meeting about this um, HyperDoc PD stuff for the um, Component 1 National Board Assessment Center exercises. And so I thought I would go ahead and send out a video, just make a video. We will have a meeting soon, but there are a few things that um, some folks can go ahead and jump in and start doing that are just like tedious type work. Um, and because this will be a fast turnaround because it's component one season, as you know, uh, the assessment center will be open soon. And so our audience for this, remember, is national board certified teachers who are going to the assessment center to do um, component one exercises. So it may be first time candidates who are going to do all three of the constructed response or it might be retake candidates who are just retaking one or two, or, or no, I guess a retake could be retaking all three. But um, so candidates will be able to pay for, you know, just the ones that they're doing. And so it's a, we're gonna call it a professional learning experience to get them started um, on the road toward, you know, preparation for the assessment center, but we're doing this through the South Mississippi Writing Project because uh, for those of you who don't know, a world-class teacher program is not allowed to do professional development because that would be considered giving a candidate evidence. So we are strictly only supposed to like keep them focused on the assessment process, the five core propositions, the uh, architecture of accomplished teaching, the rubric, you know, so you can give feedback on that, but you can't say something like, oh, here's a resource that you might want to read to um, um, help you uh, help kids understand literary genres or something like that. You know, we, we can't do that, but the South Mississippi Writing Project can. So I just started thinking about, you know, where's a ready-made audience uh, to buy some of our stuff? And so um, one of the things that we'll do, and we'll, we'll talk about this more later, but I'm gonna try to figure out how to market it nationwide. I can't do it because, I mean like, so if an email goes out, it can't come from me because I'm also the director of the World Class Teacher Program. So that almost looks like, well, you're trying to sell something that um, you're trying to profit off of the candidates, which, you know, a world-class teacher program is not supposed to do that. So we'll figure that out. We'll definitely offer it to our own candidates somehow. <laughs> so what we're giving them that a world-class teacher program doesn't necessarily give them is a lot of resources to study for each exercise. So I wanna show you, I have already started um, a bunch of this. I couldn't sleep last night, so I started um, started working on the folder. And here it is. So you'll notice, you know, the, the place where we're doing our HyperDocs, this is the folder, SMWP Online PD HyperDocs. Um, so you, you all have access to that. And then I put another folder and it's called National Board Component One Learning Resources. So go to the HyperDoc folder, click on the National Board Component One Learning Resources folder, and you'll see this. So what I did was made a folder for the ones that I'm pretty sure we'll do. Um, I mean, I know we'll do, you know, a HyperDoc, we'll, we'll offer um, some professional learning for ELA exercises one, two, and three for lit reading literacy exercises one, two, and three, because we're a literacy organization, right? And so I know that middle childhood generalist has a, a literacy one and early childhood generalist has a literacy one. It may be that we can do more than one of the exercises in, in these, but I know we can do at least one. So one of the things that I would like for you all to do is just start as you get a chance, look through the, you know, go to the National Board website, put in different certificate areas. Like for example, I looked at the social studies one and exercise one in social studies is to do something with um, 
a primary source document. So it may be, you know, once you start looking, you may think, oh yeah, I can do that. I can um, develop something that will help teachers who are studying for this. Um, or, or maybe some of the others. So, I mean, like I know math, we don't wanna touch that because at math, they just have to um, work math problems. And in art, they have to, you know, analyze art. <laughs> Um, a piece of artwork and music, they have to like listen to music, but anything that has like a literacy component or even, you know, like some of us are generalists and we can even, you know, figure out how to do some of these um, components that don't have anything to do with, uh, I mean, exercises that don't have anything to do with literacy. But, but what we want to do is get started on these because we have to market it immediately. They don't have to be finished before we market it. So I'm thinking, you know, it's um, March 20 something, I've lost track of, of the date, but um, I'm thinking that if we go ahead and get the word out and we say, you know, these will be available, I don't know, let's say the second week of April, I think that's really doable because when I show you what I've started working on, I think you're gonna think it's, it's doable too. And that'll give us, I don't know, two and a half to three weeks to get them ready to go uh, before we, you know, like send them to the people who register. So what I've done here, all of these are templates. We're going to use the exact same templates, the exact same processes for every one of these, no matter the certificate area. So I want to show you, I've already um, started. Let me stop the share just a minute. I've got to check something. Okay. Um, so I've already gotten started on the um, ELA. So I've done a folder for ELA exercise one, ELA exercise two, ELA exercise three. So let me show you this. ELA exercise one, here's the hyperdoc, and then all the documents that will link, be linked in this hyperdoc. Okay. So there's the retired prompt, which we will use exact only the prompts, not the ones we develop. We are not using any samples that our world class teacher program developed. We're only using the ones that are published on the National Board website. So, um, you know, when somebody gets a chance to go in here and, you know, drop that prompt in and it'll look exactly like this. So every one of them will look exactly like this or you know whatever the standard is. And then down here, somebody drop that prompt in. It's gotta be formatted, you know, exactly right, you know, about all of that. So then this is the side-by-side -side rubric analysis. I put this one together for exercise one. Um, Level four, three, two, one. So when you, you know, when you do them, when you paste it in, make sure there's horizontal alignment. You're gonna have to do some spacing, but we want, we want beautiful aesthetics, uh, pristine aesthetics. I'm really big on that. So don't just, we're not gonna do any sloppy work. You know, don't just paste it in and just move on. No, make it look beautiful uh, so that the candidates can, go across because um, they're going to do that side by side analysis here. Um, so let me just open up the Google Doc. And this is what they will all look like. So they'll all have our, our logo. This is writing project work. It is not world class teacher program work. And then there's an important read first. Welcome to this experience. This does not guarantee a successful score. Be sure to read through the component one instructions here. So if you're working on, this is the link to um, the ELA component one instructions. If you're working on reading literacy, it will be the link to the reading literacy component instructions. And then this is the description of the exercise a closer look. Read through the retired prompt. We suggest you print the document, make extensive notes, study it frequently. They'll all say the same thing. So it'll be the name of the exercise here, 
the description, read through the retired prompt, which will link to where you make the document that has the retired prompt. Remember, use the template. And then they will study the rubric side by side. What do you notice? What changes? And then here we will have some, there's nothing collaborative here. So they're not, this is an independent study experience, okay? Um, nothing collaborative. They're just going to do all of this. We will make all the documents like view only, but we will, you know, we recommend that they print it and mark it up, like make marks on it, do some highlighting, however they want to study it. So then here is where they get, the um, study links. So we're going to curate high, high, high quality um, websites, videos, articles for them to study uh, um, literary genres. So, you know, everybody who's working on this will need to, and, and this is everybody, so this is a team we're all working on all of them. So don't think, well, um, Catherine will do all the ELA and Dylan will do all the reading literacy. No, whoever gets a chance, as you get a chance to go in and set up the forms on the, in the folders um, and drop all this stuff in, like all this, all this stuff is gonna be exactly the same on everything except these links will go to to different links, depending on what exercise it is and what certificate area. But as you find resources, as you study the rubric and the description and the retired prompt, pretend you, then after that, after you've done exactly what the candidates will do, which is analyze all this and say, okay, this is what the national board is gonna require of me. How, what would I do to begin studying? And you're like the best of the best, right? I mean, you're writing project people. So you know how to study and how to learn. And so you're gonna find some really good resources that will um, that you would study yourself. So like, if I were gonna study this, I'd start like looking for um, articles on the NCTE website, or I would start looking for art, you know, anything that has to do with literary teaching literary genres. I might find a read, write, write, think lesson plan. Um, just think to yourself, here's the way you approach this. How would I study for this? Okay. And as you find the sites, you're going to start dropping them in. But now, please, 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 and I know you won't do this, but I'm just saying, please don't just Google and then drop in your, your hits. What's going to take a little while is to curate those high quality resources to study. And so then, oh shoot, I got out of it before I meant to. So then there is a link here and I, I hate that it went on to a second page. Catherine doesn't like when it goes on a second page and I don't either. So let me see if I can fix this. Yeah, maybe this helps. Anyway, we can maybe get it where it will all be. A, uh, the best Google hyperdocs are one pagers. So um, if you need to add more cells, I just did eight, but you know, as many as you think you might need to add, if you find really good sites, then drop them in, add some cells um, in this table. And then the only collaborative thing that the participants are going to do is then they're going to find some more study resources and add them in a shared Google Doc. Now, you're going to, let me show you. I want to go back here. Okay. So I want to make sure you're seeing what 
I'm seeing. Sometimes when I change tabs, it doesn't show up on the video. So, all right, so this is what the folder looks like. And just so you know, there's nothing in this folder, nothing in this folder, nothing in this folder. I've only started in this folder. I've done more um, exercise one than anything else. Um, but you're gonna notice here are all the templates, every single template. So here's your master template. Here's your retired prompt template that will be linked in this one. Here's your shared resources one and here's your side-by-side -side rubric. This document, I just started putting it as a warehouse of resources. So it has the link to our own Google Drive where through the years we've had um, candidates drop in resources. Use that, but be careful because we don't vet those. Um, we don't curate those, the candidates do. And a lot of can I've looked at some of them and a lot of candidates just throw stuff in. It's not necessarily like a, a really high quality source of learning. So just, you know, just be careful. So what needs to happen now is, so for example, I don't even have the three folders in here, okay? I don't even have um, early childhood generalist exercise one, early childhood generalist exercise two, early childhood generalist exercise, two. I have nothing there. So we're gonna start, or you're gonna, you're gonna start um, using my model and building out those folders, okay? So um, as you get a chance, and remember it's a pretty quick turnaround, but as you get a chance, start building out the folders. If you go on the National Board website and you think, oh, I think we can, we might be able to do world languages. I don't know, I haven't looked at it. Um, our expertise might lend itself, like I said, to some other social studies ones. I don't know, I, you know, I haven't looked at it. Our expertise might lend itself to the English as a new language certificate. Um, anything you think, hey, I think we can make this. Um, create a folder, uh, create folders within folders and start putting in the templates and the, the information from the National Board website. It takes a while just to do all these mundane type building the stuff. Um, linking to the prompt, linking to the, uh, put it, dropping in the rubric levels. Um, it'll take a little while to do all that before, you know, we can even start curating some really good resources and dropping them in. So as you get a chance to start building out the, the frames and the forms, work on that and then we can all start working on curating some high quality content to put in. Um, I'm gonna touch base with a few of you about, um, well, all of you, if you're on Facebook, start looking for Facebook support groups. So like, you know, the Early Childhood Generalist support group or the um, uh, Reading Literacy support group, or and some of you are Mississippi Teachers Matter but you know, so are some of the other directors. So you know, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm going to try to send it out to writing project directors across the country, so that they can send it out, you know, to people they know. This is a we could do this nationwide. There are national board candidates in every state of the nation who might pay twenty dollars to or sixty you get, you know, for you get all three for sixty, but twenty dollars each for some really good. Um, study resources. I would, I, I would pay $20 to get this document if I were a national board candidate or 60 to get all three. So that's that. I hope that was clear. It might not have been, but really study what I have done in the folder so far. I think you'll try, maybe figure it out, but remember they're all going to look uniform. The only thing that's different is what those links go to and then um, the resources that we put in. It might be that like some of the reading literacy resources will also work in the early childhood generalist or the middle childhood generalist. It might be that some of the ELA resources will also work in the um, reading literacy 
or you know, so it, it may be that some of the links, the the sources we curate might work for more than one certificate area. But anyway, I think this will be fun. I have star. I've talked to Catherine about this, so I feel like I'm a hyper doc and fool these days. It's just stress relief uh, for me. As I get a minute, if I'm like today, I've been on webinars all day and I have another one to get on in just a minute. But, you know, I've, I've just been building out HyperDocs um, forms and frames. So let's just all get in there and start fleshing these out and um, see what we come up with. I think it'll be good. I trust all of you to find really good stuff. Um, but let's drop in the prompts, let's drop in, you know, just whatever we can drop, the descriptions, all the, all the things, you know what to do. So um, take care and I'm going to email this to all of you.